Was the shooting death of 24-year-old Mario Vernon an intentional act of murder? Many in Punta Gorda, including the family of the slain young man, are of the firmly held belief that he was executed in cold blood at the hands of an intoxicated police officer. On Saturday night, Mario, grandson of renowned Creole musician Leela Vernon, was hanging out with a group of friends on Main Street. Sometime after 9 p.m., he was reportedly approached by police constable Tevin Aranda. A resident of the neighborhood, whose home Vernon had visited moments earlier, shares with News 5 off-camera what transpired thereafter. I was right in front of my yard when the police went on. And the pass leave it in front of my yard, but three more different lots. And then park the front there, then take a look. After they look, after they look everything, they move, then drive back, they go to other lane, all right, over the other street. Yes. Then from there, the policeman walked to the bush. All right. This was around 9.30, you say? Around 9.30, yes. So one of the policemen walked to the, uh, one of the Havana lot and met the guy over there. And just let's go one shot. All right. And after that, they left the body and then continue on the own. But around about say five minutes after, then come back and then continue walking at the place and say, well, the man dead. That's all what they say, all right? So then take a look, then drag the body, then put up by the roadside. After that, then dash in the vehicle, then gun, drop in a hospital, and then turn back again and start walking in the bush there, where they may look suspicious. The police department, however, has given its account of what took place that night. The version of events as told by the officer in question is completely different from what eyewitnesses have divulged. That chronicle was presented by Assistant Commissioner of Police, Joseph Maivet. Police reports that on Saturday the 13th, January 2018, sometime after 9 p.m., whilst police was on patrol on Judge Price Street, Punta Gorda Town, they observed one Mario Vernon with what appears to be a firearm in his hand. Upon seeing the police, he started moving away, and the police then drove off and on to Main Middle Street, Punta Gorda Town, in the direction where um, Vernon was going. According to the police officer, he then exited the police vehicle upon seeing Mr. Vernon, and at the time of him seeing Mr. Vernon, he noticed Mr. Vernon walking away from him and pointing a firearm towards him and as a result he drew his service revolver and fired one shot which eventually fatally wounded uh, Mr. Vernon. The scene was processed where one 380 brand Larson brand pistol was found on the scene Police have since launched both a criminal and an internal investigation into this matter. We have been given several information and several leads which we are working on at this point in time. The officer in question is also detained at this time pending this investigation. Admittedly, Mario was not a model citizen. His uncle, Franz Vernon Sr., says that numerous attempts were made to try and help the young man to walk the straight and narrow. Despite his choice to lead a lawless life, family members are convinced that he was deliberately shot and killed by P.C. Aranda. That night, you know, I was right there in my place, you know, chilling with my friends and, you know, stalking and those stuff. Then a guy just ran up here to, to my building, you know, and he told me, like, he said, boy, Franz, they just shot Mario, you know. So when they, when they, he told me that I just... You know, I just freeze and I take it easy. I just relax. Then one of my next friend that was here, he went to the scene because it's right, the place is not so far from where I live at. You know, it's right through our backyard. And then you, you make a right and you'll be right there. All those guys was right there. They were associating and chilling. And this, this police guy came up about one, two, three times to my nephew, like agitating him, agitating him. And, you know, my, and my nephew went across the yard. I was told not to make a call to his father because he was with those guys, so he went across. And when he was in the, across the yard, then 
there was a time that he got shot. At, um, from what I heard, you know, he was freeze and was told to lift his arm, arms up. He had his arms up and the one single shot caught him from behind the head and my, my nephew fell, fell right there. No running or nothing ever happened. And after, they didn't wait for no crime scene or nothing, they just dragged my nephew. That shine at the truck and care. In speaking with others in the area, we were told that Vernon was unarmed at the time of the pursuit. His lifeless body was then logged a good distance away from where he fell dead to the side of the road before being hefted into the pan of a pickup truck. The firearm that was later discovered not far from where he was fatally shot was reportedly planted at the scene following the incident. I think that is true. The police take a chance at a man and then take the man alive. The kind of man, he got no kind of weapon with that when that may happen. Yeah. But the police just changed stop eh? Do you know if Mario and any of the officers, particularly the one who shot him, had any kind of altercation before this incident? What have you heard? Well, the, the guy who got shot, he came to me and told me how the police was threatening him. That's, that's all I know. Yeah. How well did you know Mario as someone who lives around here or hangs around in this neighborhood? I know Mario and I know his granny for many years, over 25 years, over 22 years now. Yeah, yeah, that's what I know. Okay, Alistair came and convinced me and so the man, the man said he wanted to eat something and Alice helped us, so I gave us some food. That's what I do. As if the officer involved murder of Farid Ahmad a few weeks ago wasn't bad enough, the Belize Police Department is once again at the center of another controversy resulting from the actions of its officers. Are you able to say if Mr. Berlin had any previous run-ins with police? Yes. Yes, he did. Of what nature? Um, I think there is a robbery case against him in Belize City, and I know that um, there were several incidents in Punta Gorda um, for which he came in contact with the police there. And the purpose of the detention of the police officer? At that point in time, the police was also responding to a report of the deceased allegedly uh, pulling a firearm on someone. Was that officer off duty, or meaning we were being told he was providing security at an establishment? No, the officer was working. He was driving the patrol vehicle at the time when he saw um, the deceased walking away. So those reports or allegations rather that the officer in question was intoxicated, that's not true. No, we are not saying that. What happened is that we are following all the information that was given to us and including those are being followed by the police. Myself and Mr. Williams, the commander of the Professional Standards Branch, were on the ground for the entire day yesterday and I believe he may have gone back down here today. Sir, can you say whether or not Mr. Vernon had any prior communication or contact with this police officer in question prior to his shooting? Not, not that I know about. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayetano.